While many of us speak of what it means to be a real conservative, have you ever thought deeply about all that entails? Here's what I mean. We often talk about the beliefs of a good conservative, but what about actions? It's fine to say you believe in limited government, less taxes and spending and individual liberty, but taken by themselves, those things are nothing more than a manifesto for selfishness. Now, there are two common corruptions of liberty that weaken the foundations of our republic. The first is when liberty turns to license, as we see when, for example, pornographers hide behind the First Amendment. But the other is when liberty becomes nothing more than an excuse to be left alone. Now, progressives believe in a large and active government to achieve the goals of what the preamble to the Constitution calls a more perfect union. Unless you somehow believe that goal is an unworthy one, and I suppose there are some who do, if you call yourself a conservative and you're intellectually honest, it is incumbent upon you to not just believe but participate in an alternative to big government. We say it's easy for progressives to be compassionate because all they have to do is pay their overly high taxes, let the government take care of most social needs, and sit back and feel good about themselves. But if you're a real conservative, the job is actually harder because you've got to dedicate your own time, talent, and treasure to the service of our nation, and perhaps most importantly to helping those who cannot help themselves. You can't replace something, in this case government, with nothing. So whether it's through hands-on service, through places like the Red Cross or the Boy Scouts or your place of worship, or white-collar service through a myriad of institutions, the way to prove you're a real conservative is through compassion, service, and generosity in action. We know that many progressives look at conservatives and say they're just selfish. If you don't get out there and put your money and service where your mouth is, how can you prove them wrong?